What's up everybody, Circus here coming at you with a KC Cup prediction video. The KC Cup started KC. It started uh yesterday, today, I don't know, something like that. Real recently. We're in stage one right now. And so this is the pre preliminary round, so everybody's just getting qualified for the second stage. But I thought we could take a second here and talk about the second stage a little bit. How you doing, Rye? I'm doing good. I'm 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 always excited for KC Cup. I get two of my favorite things every single time. A new meme deck that does not work in tournaments, but people will try to make it work anyway. Right. And drama that is just juicy, juicy, juicy that I love reading. Oh yeah, there's together. gonna be something again, right? There's gonna be <laughs> every time. It's great. I love it. Bots in the KC Cup, people <laughs> cheating, people colluding. It's always something, right? Uh, I can't wait. I'm excited. My bet this time, more collusion. I, more collusion you know it's bad when like players are apologizing on twitter it's like yeah. what what what's oh going on God. here jesus all right so casey cup obviously we're thinking it no side deck format you know it's basically Ooh. like the ladder um i think when we're talking about this it's probably we're talking about top 100 top 10 because uh if you're like at 20,000 30,000 mm -hmm. points and below you can play whatever you want and be just yeah. fine you can just play all you want <laughs> Yeah, realistically, um, you could you could break into any of those playing whatever you want. You could play the, the standard meta, Dark Lord, Blue Eyes, and you'll probably be fine. Uh, once you start entering the top 100, and then probably like the top top 10, really, that's when the meta starts rapidly, explosively evolving. Uh, it being an uncapped event over three days means um, people have to very rapidly figure out a meta. I hate the concept of a solved meta because there's no such thing as a solved meta when you have so much card pool. Right. Uh, even even um, for, for people who are familiar with the GOAT format um, in the TCG, that is a format from like 2000, whatever, to 2005. I don't even know. And that to this day is still getting adaptations, people countering the meta, blah, you know, a back and forth right. type thing. So... As long as you leave the game alone, the meta will shift. It just shifts slower because you know, there's nothing new coming out. <laughs> um, so over a three-day period when you're playing 24-7, super unhealthy, by the way. Don't do that. Take breaks. Um, drink Monster Energy drink. <laughs> don't, don't throw up. We're not sponsored, uh, but we should be. I'm just saying. <laughs> Hey, My blood is like literally sixty five percent monster at this point. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like like it's it's the the meta ex explosively evolves, and there's always something spicy that ends up happening and, and showing up, which sometimes has impact on on the meta game, and a lot of times doesn't. You know, you, you get things like dragoonity with cyber style, and you're like, what are you doing? <laughs> well, then like uh, Candy Crusher playing megaliths. And yeah, megaliths, that one like time no one, like... no one read what they were, and people lost to it, and it's like, come on, bro, you lost to megaliths. I think it was. The same casey cup i was asking neg what are you playing he's like you won't believe me i'm like what and he's like try mids <laughs> man finishes second place with try mids no one expected that you know or it's like yeah. who won it was like heroes how the hell did heroes win there it's always yeah. something weird like that in the top at the mm. upper echelons because those guys like you said are just struggling to find oh for any sure. kind totally. of edge any kind of edge you know yeah it's 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 interesting so obviously dark lord and blue eyes those are the two decks everyone's going to think about going into casey cup uh, but very rarely is the best decks usually going to end up winning i think the only time that's realistically happened was like element saber um and that's because that was a control deck right it's like you right what are you gonna how are you gonna counter that that's it's literally playing every element in the game <laughs> it doesn't really care about stuff like that it can otk it's it got like 12 stall. flip downs or something at the time yeah, right so it was like, something ridiculous that, that made sense but for decks like these there actually is a lot of room for counterplay um so you may see situations where um you know those decks don't end up you know in the top cut that being said again though dark lord star seraph did you know uh, take first place last time so there could be a possibility that they end up taking first place but there was also surprise value i was about to say there. that was the outside deck that we were talking about where everybody's like what yeah. the hell is this how so do i now, play against it now it's going to be interesting to see what happens when it is a known factor um because another deck uh, i think herf brought it up before was automats uh they are the cyber dragon of this casey cup right win fast lose fast that's right. always the most important thing winning fast losing fast until you reach like that top 10 echelon um, where every, every game matters at that yeah, point. Yeah, every game starts to matter. You want to yeah. win the games you're going to win as soon as possible, and you want to lose the games that you're going to lose either way. You're just going to have to toss them and keep going type of right. style. And Automats is really good at doing that. <laughs> yeah. You know? yeah. So, the, um, you know, they're, they're, that's a deck to keep an eye out for. Um, 
I guess a few hot takes. I think Luna Lights, you Luna Lights always usually end they, up getting somewhere yeah. in the top cut. I actually think they're not going to do that this time. Fun oh, facts. Uh, yeah. Oh. I, I think this meta is really bad. And with the release of Lightning Vortex, there's no excuse to lose to Luna Lights. Right. <laughs> You just gotta break out those old floodgates, man. That's all I'm saying. (laughs) So, knowing people are still going to do it because no one, no one ever plays around little lights, and you're tired, and it's day two, and you swing into destiny draw. Yeah, um, I think this is. I think. I think. Yeah, I I don't think they're gonna end up topping this time. Not a single one in top 100. Boys, quote me if it happens. Okay. All right. Well, watch. I'm. I'm actually gonna check now. I want to see because yeah, um, historically Luna Lights do well in the KC Cup, so we'll, we'll have they to do. There's always at least one in the top 100. And the last time I think uh, I don't know if it was last time or two times ago, the, I was like looking for it was Luna Lights, Luna Lights, and there was like one, and I was like, God damn, so close. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Cyber Dragons and, usually do well, you know, kind of the same thing. Yeah, Cyber Dragons. I think Harpies will not do well either. I think Harpies would do better in a side deck format uh, okay. because they can draw so much. So drawing things like their you know, light imprisoning mirrors and stuff like that. Um, but when you have like a spe- like specific counter cards, don't work in the ladder because you'll run into that one you know top fifty megalith player and you're like, what the hell is right, this? Right. Like, what? <laughs> my deck does not do anything against this. I auto lose. Yeah. Um, so you know, usually you don't see things like light imprisoning, shadow imprisoning. So you know, without those tools, harpies do have um, you know more of of they do have to kind of step back from what they can do. Um, there's also the fish deck that's actually kind of interesting because that is a control deck uh, and can play a lot of back row. Mm-hmm. Uh, so their only real threat would be Blue Eyes at that point, uh, which they can probably handle with Abyss Dweller if Blue Eyes is going to try and build around Dark Lord. So they may end up being kind of interesting to keep an eye on. Uh, I think we'll see a couple in the top top 100 uh, in terms of fishy boys. Um, I guess I'm always kind of surprised people uh, aren't playing more control decks just in any meta right now just because of... Uh, car lords and blue eyes and stuff like yeah. that i mean if you can just flip stuff down and figure out a way to deal with it it's not so bad but everybody's mm-hmm. kind of uh trying to find other otk ways to win games right now uh but I mean, like fish <laughs> deck stuff like that i mean that's a good control deck right i, I mean we saw amazon you see what they do just stall the hell out of people <laughs> until they could win so right. you're not wrong with control is definitely uh a, a viable strategy right now so did we'll we see, see we'll see Amazon's was it top 16 top eight in the MCS I think it was top eight yeah and yeah without, so outside with outside deck Amazon is really really good yeah um, they're just their banish effects are disgusting when they're also uh, a control deck you know they just sit there mm-hmm. you summon something I flip it down you summon something yeah. I flip it down you know just constantly swinging into your monsters yeah yeah it's it's gonna be an interesting KC cup I, I I hope it's not just dark lords and blue eyes all over I do hope that we uh see some other, but then it's like the alternative is oh do I? We're just gonna see stall instead. <laughs> right, right. I don't really want to see that either. But you know, we'll we'll. As see. a we'll... former dirty stall player, I I appreciate it. I just hate playing against it. Right. I I think this is the most excited I'm gonna be for post KC Cup ban list I've ever been. In this yeah. Game. <laughs> I don't even know what to ban at this point anymore. We kind of talked about in the last video. I just want to see power creep. Maybe yeah. maybe uh, like you said, level aug or something with car lords. I car d- dark lords themselves need to go. I'm tired of them. Yeah, well, dark it's the, the, their problem, right? Like they've obviously nerfed everything in the game that they touch. Um, if 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 it's like that, it's like that really bad coworker that just keeps you know getting other people fired, getting policies right, changed. Right, right. It's like, <laughs> why? Just get rid of him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why do we have to change everything else? But well, That's, someone made a good point. Like Element Saber, Sheer Nui, these are all decks that came out after Dark Lords, and they're not in the game. I know it's crazy, and I don't think Konami wants Dark Lords in the game. Let's be honest. Um, they thought they did the job, but people find yeah. a way to bring them back, you know. So I, I I have a pretty good feeling that this upcoming ban list is, you know, the last one. Like this, XGEL like the to C- zero. CEO or... of Konami is looking at the deck like, all right, all right, you guys wanted UR cards limited to two, one, and zero. Here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> if there's any deck to break the rules, it's definitely gonna be Dark Lords. Yeah. Um. So let's know what you guys think about uh the KC Cup and maybe an upcoming post KC Cup ban list because I'd like to hear what you guys have to say about that. So we're gonna get out of here, but you should get in the Discord because it's free. The tournaments are free. The new player help is free. Uh Rise excited. Not for the KC Cup, but the Not after the party, all the after stuff, right? 
It'll the band be, it'll list, be... the drama, all that good stuff. I am, I am yeah, the, the, the those those two things are my favorite. Also, um, the implication of worlds, right? Because this band list Ooh. is probably going to set up uh, what worlds is going to start kind of looking like. Interesting, um, yeah. So you know that'll be that'll be cool to look at, especially since people are going to be competing for spots again. So maybe we should be more hyped about the post Ben or the post Casey Cup than the actual Casey Cup itself. Quote me, Dark Magicians coming back full power so they can have Dark Magician versus Blue Eyes. All right. And with that, we're going to get out of here. I'm Circus. That's right. Farewell, boys. All right. We'll see you next time.